Hello readers, today I'm in a courthouse watching people argue about laws so we can learn about the power of evidence. Evidence is essentially proof, it is the facts that help you know that something is true. Let's listen in. And your honor, that is why we propose that cookies be made illegal. The prosecution rests. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Objection, your honor. I may be a simple country lawyer, but even I can see that my opponent has neglected to offer up a single crumb of evidence in favor of banning all cookies, only heated and offensive anti-cookie slogans. Objection sustained. You will give evidence for your claims, or I will dismiss this case in favor of cookies. You have not yet proved that cookies pose a threat to public health. Show me where it says in our books of law that I even have the right to make this ruling. Both of you are going to need to give me evidence. Okay, so you can see that there are a couple of things happening here. There's a group of people who want to keep cookies, a group of people who want to ban cookies, and in the middle of it, a judge who has to decide which group of people is right. So, she asked them for evidence. If you believe cookies are bad, what's your proof? If you believe cookies are good in moderation, what's your proof? Let's step out of the courtroom for a second and go to this example in a text. I'm in big trouble. I forgot to do the social studies project last weekend. In my defense, I did have a very unusual weekend. My stepdad, Zeke, unexpectedly picked me up from school last Friday because he got free tickets to the Dodgers game. Then, since the game got over late, we decided to stay at my grandma's house because she lives sort of by the stadium. In the morning, she asked if we could paint her garage. Of course we did, but it took all day. On Sunday, I'm sorry to report, I devoted my entire day to watching Voltron. Let's try answering some questions that require us to look back at the text for evidence. This is like the bedrock of any kind of writing. If you make a claim, you have to back it up with evidence. So, did the author remember to do their social studies project last weekend? No. And why do we know that? They say so in the very first line. I forgot to do the social studies project. Okay, that's easy mode, you're saying. Fine. What did the author of this piece do on Saturday? You'll notice the word Saturday doesn't appear in the paragraphs above, and yet I could tell you with confidence and direct support from the text. How? Well, let's go back and look at the text. My stepdad Zeke unexpectedly picked me up from school last Friday, and we keep reading. Then, since the game got over late, we decided to stay at my grandma's house because she sort of lives by the stadium. So, the author and their stepdad spent the night, Friday night, at grandma's house. The story continues. In the morning, she, the grandma, asked if we could paint her garage. Of course we did, but it took all day. Which morning? Saturday morning! I'm pulling information directly out of the text to support my answer. The author spent Saturday painting their grandmother's garage. Ooh, hold on, let's head back to the courthouse. I think the judge is ready to issue her verdict and decide the case. This court will come to order, please. Order! Thank you. We've heard the arguments of the prosecution and the defense, both anti-cookie and pro-cookie, and now the time has come to give my judgment. The anti-cookie side presented a very interesting case, showing the effects of cookie exposure to teeth and the dangerous effects of having too much sugar and feeling all wibbly. But the pro-cookie side also gave very compelling evidence, showing that in moderation, a cookie can be a very tasty snack indeed provided that you treat them for what they are, something to have every so often. This court finds in favor of the cookie. Thank you. Wow, readers. I think we just witnessed something important and historic, and it couldn't have happened without the power of evidence. You can learn anything. David out. <laughs>